Welcome to Cadence Point YC's tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature or demonstrate a technique in just a few minutes. In this video, we will show you how to prepare your Cadence license file for installation. It is important to know that the PointWise software used to use the RLM license manager. However, the latest release of the Fidelity PointWise software, that is Fidelity PointWise 2022.1, uses the FlexNet license manager. If you purchase a new license from Cadence to run the Fidelity PointWise software, you're going to receive a license file that looks like this. So all the edits that you can make to this license file are going to be located in this particular section. You can see that there are like two lines right here. One is the server line and the other one is the daemon line. In the server line, the first thing that you're going to find is the Cadence server words. You're going to have to edit Cadence server and put in its place the full name, that is the host ID of the server machine that will use this license file. The next thing here is a series of 12 numbers and letters, that is the host ID of the server machine. Please know that the host ID cannot be edited. This particular license file has been prepared for this particular host ID. The next thing you will find in this line is the number 5280 and that is the port number that is being used for communication for LMGRD. You can edit this number and use another port that is more convenient to you. In the daemon line, the first thing that you're going to find is the word CDSLMD. That is the name of the vendor daemon. Right next to that, you're going to find the absolute path to the vendor daemon. If the license file is not stored in the same location where the vendor daemon lives, you're going to have to change that path and specify the full absolute path to the vendor daemon. Another change that you can make in this particular line is to explicitly specify a port for communication of the vendor daemon. In this case, you can actually see that I have edited the license file and I am explicitly specifying port 3000 for this kind of communication. And these are all the changes and edits that you can make to the Cadence license file. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.